Hello, it's Aga from Arvis Artist, and today we'll continue the Unwrap UVW modifier topic. First question to be asked. Did you watch the first part from this series? If you didn't get a chance, stop here and watch it now. I put the link in the corner. Before, we unwrapped simple objects as box and stay in there. Today, I show you how to use Unwrap UVW modifier on more complex objects. I think the armchair will be a really good example. Let's begin. As this is one object, I like to detach elements. It's just easier to control. So what we need to do first, we need to think how we can unfold this part. Let's take a look around. Okay, so there is sewing visible on this setting. So we can basically divide this into two parts. The one will be here and the second part will be the side of this setting. As before, first we need to create seams. Here is quite obvious as we'll do this along the sewing. Select edge and use loop option. Awesome, works perfect. Convert edge selection to seam. Here we go. Now open UV editor, select all polygons and use pelt map. Click start pelt. Now use the quick pelt option. Great, so now we have both our elements flat. Now, let's select this element. There are two ways how we can select this at once. You can click at one polygon that belongs to the element you want to select and use the option Expand Polygon Selection to Seam or you can do the same but click on this icon instead. We can move it down a little. And let's use the Relax option. We can increase the amount and relax again. And again. Let's use the pack custom option. Let me show you first what I am not happy with the result. Let's change the texture map to UV checker. You can see that this part works well, but this one is definitely not right. The texture is banded. And I hope that you see that something is incorrect, right? The texture should be straight. What we can try is another option with the relax tool. Until now, we used relax by polygon angle. Let's use relax by edge angle now. This method is similar to the previous one, except that it uses the edges that are attached to the vertices as the shape to match. This method is best suited for more complex shapes. Let's see what happens. You can see that something is going on here. We can stop and try polygon angles now. You can see that now it's more smooth. Let's try one more time. You can clearly see that this part is going to be more straight. So here it works quite well, but here definitely we still have a problem. Let me show you what we can do here. I show you another way you can work. Go to vertices now. By clicking here you can use the soft selection option. Now we can move these vertices or rotate for instance. I rotate it first and move it back to the correct position. Great. Now let's use the relax tool again. Change the amount and start relax. Awesome. Let's see the result. I'm happy with this. Let's arrange the elements. We can rotate this part to be positioned horizontally. We can 
see how it looks with the standard checker map. Nice, first task is done. How are you going so far? I hope all is clear. Okay, let's go back to work. Now we can unhide another element of the armchair. We'll do this top part now. Let's detach it. I isolate this as it's just easier to work with. We need to think how we can cut it to make it flat. So here we'll have one element. Here another one. Top parts separated and bottom as well. And of course sides. As we know what we need to do, let's select proper edges and convert them to seams. Select all polygons and open UV editor. Use the pelt map option. Let's move the elements a bit more further away from each other. Now we can use the quick pelt option. Let's start from these two elements. I add the checker map to show you why we need to work on this a bit more. You can see that this texture is not mapped correctly. But no worries, there is an easy and quick way to fix it. Let's use the strengthen selection option. And here we go, looks perfect. Let's do the same with another one. Awesome. We can use this option. I do the same for the top and bottom part. We can use this option. Let's apply the material to see how it works. We need to scale this a bit to make it fit better. Go back to the Unwrap UVW modifier, select all and scale. We can pick the texture from the material so it will be easier to match the scale. Let's say I want to have around 4 of these wooden pieces visible here, so let's adjust the size more or less to this. I'd like to rotate this as I want veins going another direction. And let's scale this to be more narrow. Maybe not so much. The same with another part. I like it, but I want this piece to continue the tints here. Let's adjust it by hand. In order to do this, we need to move it and adjust. And the same here.
Oh, scale is not right here. Let's adjust it manually. Great, done. I apply the fabric texture to the setting to see if the scale is correct. It's too big, so we need to adjust this. We don't have to scale it inside the modifier, we can adjust the tiling in the bitmap properties. What do you think? All is clear so far? Let me know in the comments if you like this topic and you want me to do another part of this series. I showed the last piece that it's a bit different. The same as before, let's think where the seams should go. Use loop option. The same here. We need three additional seams here. And the same another side. Select all polygons, pelt map, start pelt and use quick pelt. Rotate elements. Let's use the Relax tool, as the mapping is not great yet. Rotate this piece. Do you remember the last time I showed you on the top part of the armchair how we can adjust the mapping by hand? Now I show you how you can do this automatically by using another cool option. Now, as I told you in the first part, when we click on the edge and another one is highlighted, it means that they are at the same place. So we can use the stitch custom option and they will become one seam. You can notice that the texture automatically continues here and this is our goal. Let's do the same with the rest. Select edges and stitch them. And again. And another side. Select edges and stitch them. Great, job done. As always, I encourage you to test these techniques and options as there is nothing better to do than practice the new learned things by yourself. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.